Is Blender useful for architects? Blender's usefulness for architects is still up for debate within the architecture community, so let us investigate that. First things first, Blender has an advanced tool set for polygonal modeling and uses the industry-wide subdivision modeling methods. But is it precise enough? Blender allows objects to be as precise or imprecise as the user prefers. You can turn on dimensions and coordinates at any time. Well, can you go parametric though? Oh yes, Blender packs functions into super easy to use and intuitive modifiers. The most common ones are mirror, array, curve, deform, lattice and solidify. And then there are geometry nodes, which is like a balanced mix between Houdini and Grasshopper, where pieces of scripts can be reused really easily and very quickly. And then there's another great thing about Blender, and that is the incredibly strong community that produces excellent add-ons. The most important one to know is the tissue tessellation add-on. So what about rendering? With Blender, you don't need to render in another software, so there's no need for imports, exports, or additional rendering software, and that's pretty awesome. And so, Blender is an excellent freeform modeling tool with advanced subdivision modeling toolset, and it can be highly precise, and it's inherently parametric, and it includes rendering. If you'd like to know more, check out our course Blender for Architects and learn how to use Blender for architectural design with precision, with subdivision modeling, and with understanding a little bit of rendering. 